Welcome to Engineering Your Space. I'm Isabelle LaRue, your host. Today I'm in my studio apartment tackling a lighting problem that I have in my bedroom area. Now I want pendant lamps, but I'm a renter so I can't really mess around with electrical wiring. And I'm on a budget, so I really wanted a DIY solution to this. And that's how I came up with this design for these beautiful drum shade pendant lamps made from materials that I had around the house like an aluminum pie pan, some wire hangers that I had left over from dry cleaning, embroidery hoops, and poster board. These pendant lamps will be the perfect addition to my bedroom. So let me show you how you two can make your very own. To get started with your pendant lamp project, you're going to need a couple of wooden embroidery rings like these and some poster board. And that's going to be to make the structure of your shade. Mine's going to be 8 inches wide by 13 inches high. Now you can cover the poster board with wallpaper, fabric, whatever you have on hand. Now I'm going to use some leftover curtain panel that I had from a previous project. This is actually a Solveig IKEA curtain panel and I just really like the texture and the color of it. And it's always nice when I can reuse stuff that I have around the house. Now the light part of this lamp is going to come from a pendant light kit. Like this one here that I got from Ikea. Now this is only about $4, which is really inexpensive. But the thing with a lot of these inexpensive light kits is that they don't come with a switch. So to turn this on and off, you have to plug it into an outlet that's controlled with a wall switch. Or you can add a switch directly to the wire. But if you don't want to deal with that, there are a couple of options out there that I found. One of them is this wireless remote control system. And the way it works is you plug this receiver into an outlet, plug your lamp into the receiver, and then you just take this wall plate here and put it anywhere you want, and that'll be the switch to turn on and off your lamp. I really like this system. And another possibility is to use a dimmer switch. You just plug your lamp into here, and then you'll be able to control your lamp um, with the switch here. Now both of these are about $15 each and what's really nice is they're both compatible with LED light bulbs which I really recommend using with this lamp project and with all your lamps. They don't consume as much energy or give off as much heat as incandescent light bulbs. They're shatterproof and they also don't have any mercury so all in all they're a really eco-friendly option. Now one of the biggest challenges I had with this lamp project was figuring out a way of attaching this lamp kit here to my drum shape. And that's where I had to tap into my inner MacGyver. And I came up with this design for a holder made out of materials that I found around the house. This middle piece here I made from an aluminum pie pan and the legs I actually made from wire hangers that I had left over from dry cleaning. Now I'm going to show you how to put this whole thing together starting with the middle piece here. You're going to first want to draw a template like this one. Draw a 3 inch square with dotted lines, preferably on poster board that has a grid in it. Then using the outside of your lamp socket as your guide, draw a circle in the center. Then draw a 5 inch square with the corners cut off at 45 degrees. Then you'll want to trim the edges so that when you fold them, the center remains clear. You can find this template on engineeryourspace.com if you want to download it from there. Now you want to get a pie pan, and any regular kind will do. I find they're just sturdy enough for this project. Now to glue your template here onto the pan, I like to use rubber cement because by putting it on both the plate and the back of my template, it's going to come off really cleanly so that you can use it again for another lamp project if you want. And then it's really easy to cut the template out with just regular scissors. And before you remove your template, you want to take a ruler and bend the edges here along the dotted lines, just about halfway. Once you're done with that, it's really easy to just take the template off. And like I was saying, it's going to be in perfect shape if you want to reuse it for another lamp project. Now we can put aside our middle piece for now, because we won't be needing it for a bit. And we're going to turn our attention to making the legs here that are going to connect the middle piece to the ring. And to do that, you're going to need two wire hangers like this to cut two straight pieces, three inches longer than the diameter of your shade, and then two smaller straight pieces, two and three quarters of an inch long. Next comes bending the wires into the shape here to make her legs. And it can be a bit tricky to get both legs bent exactly the same way. So making a template is actually going to help us a lot with this step. Take your embroidery ring and trace out the inside circumference of it on poster board. 
Then draw two perpendicular lines going through the center, and where those lines intersect the circle is where your legs will attach to the ring. The last step is to draw a three inch square in the center representing the middle piece. Now that you have your template, take the wire and center it on the template. Mark the wire where it intersects with the square, then mark it half an inch from the ends, and then two inches from that point. Those marks are where you'll need to bend your wire. Now, bending the wire precisely to the shape that we're looking for with pliers can be a bit tricky. So to help with this process, I designed this guide, which is essentially just a piece of wood that I drilled a hole in, slightly larger than the size of my wire. And what you do is you take your template and your guide and you line them up so that the hole in the guide is lined up with one of the connection points for the legs. And then you want to clamp that together so that they don't move. Then you want to take your wire and put it through the hole so that it lines up with the second mark from the end. Bend the wire 90 degrees up towards you. At the next mark, bend it to 45 degrees following the line here on your template. You want to do that again. Then you want to take the wire out, put it through the other side and pull it up 90 degrees. And now you have your leg bent to exactly the shape that you want. And to double check, you can just put it on your template like this, and then you can make any minor adjustments that you need to. And the last step is just to bend the end pieces here to 90 degrees. Make another leg just like it, and then measure all of them to make sure that they're the same height. And now we're ready to put the whole thing together. We're not gonna need these anymore or the template. You'll want to get your two shorter pieces that you've cut earlier and the middle piece that we had put aside. So using a glue gun, you want to put a little bit of glue on the ends here. And you want to be careful not to touch the glue and don't put too much because otherwise you'll get burned. Once that's done, then you want to take your ring and your template so that you can mark off where the legs will go. You just want to place your ring on top of your template and then for each of the connection points you make a mark and then you drill a hole slightly larger than the size of your wire. And last, it's just a matter of gluing the legs in place into the ring. And voila, your holder is done. Now you can put your pendant light kit through here in the middle and it's going to hold in place with this piece here that comes with the kit. And that's it. Now you'll be able to hang your pendant lamp. Now don't worry if this isn't exactly perfectly straight. Um, the material in the middle here has just enough give that you'll be able to adjust the lamp once it's hanging up. So I'm going to go finish putting together this pendant lamp, put two of them up in my bedroom, and then I'll show you what they look like. To make the shade, glue the poster board onto the top ring and then the bottom ring. Then you'll want to use some adhesive like Mod Podge to glue your wallpaper or fabric onto the poster board. And last, you want to add some ribbon along the edges. For more details on how to make this drum shade and how to turn it into a ceiling fixture, click on this video here. I just love the way my pennant lamps turned out. They brighten up the room and add a touch of style. And I just love the texture of the shades and the warm light they give off. They're just the perfect solution for the lighting in here. And if you're wondering about the wires, I hit them behind the bookcase there. And for exposed walls, I just use wire covers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And for a complete resource guide on this project and other DIY tips and inspiration, go to engineeryourspace.com. And don't forget to join me on Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.